Hey friends, welcome back to my studio. I am so happy you're here. It's just been a blast for me to connect with you guys, hang out with other creative people. Thank you so much. It's been a lot of fun. I'm gonna do a 20 or paint a 20 by 20 inch canvas um, from Michael's gallery wrapped. It's splined and tucked, which is really nice. Um, I, I probably mentioned that in most videos. Kiln dried stretcher bars. I'm gonna paint some poppies today. So I want to remember to write the word love on there because sometimes I get so excited to do the videos and paint the painting. I forget one of my favorite steps is to write the word love. So I'm gonna paint the sky first. I think I'm gonna mix a little cobalt blue hue with some neutral gray five and some titanium white. And then for the greens, I'm gonna work with the bright aqua green that I've just been having fun with lately if you've been following my videos. And I'm gonna mix it with the yellow, yellow orange azo, and maybe some cad yellow, maybe a little blue, we'll play with it. This is primarily gonna be a time lapse. Oh, look at the shadow. Maybe I need to work with my lighting a little bit more. Oh, I bet you it's coming from my overhead light. Um, I'll pop in with some thoughts. If I wanna get another painting done because I'm starting a new gallery here soon. Oh, and I keep forgetting. Check out the skull earrings Emily made for me. Emily's my favorite daughter here. Can you see that? <laughs> She's got vampire teeth. She has some ghosts. I'll put a link to her Etsy store uh, in the video description. She has prints too. Okay, that's probably enough commercials. Let's get started. A couple of thoughts. I think I forgot to plug in my microphone into my phone. So sorry about the sound quality. I don't know how bad it'll be in the beginning. Um, this is too high. Like You want to paint about shoulder level and really too big, but I've got a 30 inch by 40 inch three cows in a field painting going on my bigger easel. So I'm making do. I could lower my table, but I just don't want to, I don't want to take the time. Uh, what else? Oh, and I wanted to tell you I mixed another puddle with some more neutral gray five to gray the blue down and I'm also going to be adding more white. So I'm just going to go grayer and lighter as I go down. And I'm thinking, oh, I've got a reference. I keep saying, oh, I think. I've got a reference photo and I've started an account on Unsplash. I haven't uploaded any of my photos, but I have some um, photo collections that you can look at. I'll put the link in the description. And I can't pronounce this photographer's name, but I'll put this link in the description. This is my reference photo. And I've also got it on my iPad, if you see it on my iPad in the background. Okay guys, back to the time lapse. Okay, I'm having thoughts today. <laughs> so I've got my yellow azo. Can you see that it's kind of lumpy and it's kind of sticky, which you can't tell. Um, but like if you look at this bright aqua green, it's creamier, shinier, smoother. Maybe there. And the other colors. So, so far I've mixed maybe, oh, one part bright aqua green with four parts, maybe three parts of the yellow azo but it makes a really pretty green, yellow green, which I want. Um, and then I'm gonna pull it out and make a, kind of an olive green and make some other puddles from it. But I just, when your paints start getting old, which they do, I think um, Liquitex sa says that in good conditions, that good condition, they last five to seven years. So I, I've had some of these tubes a really long time. Okay, so anyway, I just wanted to pop in and say that and then let you know the green I'm mixing and I'll go back to the time lapse.
had a thought. So there's a lot that goes on um, off camera. And what I've been doing is painting this, the, you know, up a little bit, up. <laughs> All right, slow down. Painting a little ways down or up, depending on how you want to say it. On the sides, painting the bottom. And then drying it with a hair dryer and then seeing where the acrylic paint has shrunk and these little, in this case, white dots because I didn't paint the canvas with a color first. And I, I've been working on this. I started at 12.30 p.m. and now it's 2.15. And so I don't know if that helps, but I'm not very far. Let me make sure that's dry. And it's not like I'm terribly slow at this. I'm just getting, I'm just getting paint down. You know, and then I, I did uh, take a yellow orange chalk pastel. I think this is from Blick Materials. Yeah. And then kind of figured where I wanted a few of my poppies. Oh, I don't know if you can see that because it's kind of light here. I've got um, a really fun, simple palette knife poppy painting that I did, I think, on a 5x7. I'll put that link in the description. And then I also did, I think it's... The second one too is a five by seven. It's the second half of the hippie hippie crafter paint video I did, and it has a traceable. So if you don't want to tackle a twenty by twenty, okay, back to the time lapse, guys. I just had a mistake or a mishap. So I loaded up my number 12, it's a flat or a bright Royal Lane nickel. And then I was trying to paint from the side so you can see better, but I had paint further down on my brush. And so I got way too fat of a line. And then, so that's okay. I mean, this is only surface dried with a hair dryer, but it has maybe been an hour because I was working on the greens down here. So I took a wet paper towel. Now maybe not this one. Oh, here, this one. And I tried, and I cleaned it up pretty well. There's a little, little hint of the chalk pastel too. But if I scrub too much and get it too wet, I'm gonna lift off my sky. So I think we're gonna call it good. Um, and it's actually okay if I get a little green or yellow in the sky. You know, I, I've talked in other videos about how, you know, when I, we do the simple landscape videos, I'll link one of them in the, de the description and it'll have links to other ones. Um, you want to maybe put some yellows or pinks or something in your sky to tie, to tie the landscape in with the sky. So it's not like, like this is a horrible thing. I just thought I'd stop in and let you know what I was doing. Okay guys, back to the time lapse. Right, let's take a look. Oh, I've got it. <laughs> I've got to let it loose here. Yeah, this is a little, it's too tall for me to paint, but it, it's working. Okay, so I put some of the, oh, hang on, you guys, Emily's calling. Okay, let's try this again. Emily just called, she's heading over here. So what I did, is I dropped down to a one inch brush and I added more grass. There's some, I wanted to show you, I put some of the cobalt blue with a little bit of the green in the corner. And as you get back, it starts to read as black. So I don't know if I'm gonna use black. I might, 
So I wanted to show you that. I used a kneaded eraser to lighten up where my main poppies are. And then I treated myself to some new yellow azo. <laughs> it looks almost like the other two, but it's so creamy. So I'm all excited. And then I've got quinacridone, magenta. Here's in case, I don't know if it focuses and you can read read the label. And then I put a, some more cobalt blue just to keep the painting unified, keep using the same colors. I might pop in some black. And then this is the one inch brush I was using for quite a bit of, a, of the grass, this more detail in the grass. It's a low Cornell. I really like it. And it's got, you know, if you were oil painting or you could, you had it still, oh, <laughs> you still had wet acrylic paint, you could scratch some lines in it, in the wet paint, which is fun. Is there anything else I need to tell you? I think that's about it. I gotta hang, I gotta take a break here because Emily's uh, crocheted me a hat and she wants to try it on my head. I'll be back in a bit. I got the camera closer hopefully that's better although you can't see I was hoping you could see how I was making some of the um, petals with this one inch flat brush it might be called a bright I can't remember the flats are longer the brights are longer I think the flats are longer <laughs> I'll have to look that up hopefully I'll remember um, and then the reds these yummy the quinacridone I don't know if I mentioned this already and then the yellow, or no, it's the yellow azo makes such a yummy red. I love that. I love, love that. And then I just add a little blue and I almost get a black. I'm just kind of hinting at some of the center of the poppy there. I just don't want to forget about it. All these poppies will need some black or some dark bluish purple. I think now, uh, next I'm gonna switch to a smaller brush. I'm gonna switch to this one, to number 12. It's not very big. I don't know if that probably helps you if I do this. And I'm gonna put more seed pods in. So I'm kind of like grass, you know, some seed pods, some flowers, put in some more, you know, and I kind of got hints of flowers down here. I'm just kind of going between the two. Um, so I kind of keep it balanced, but it's starting to come together. Here, I wonder how bad it would be if I moved my camera back a little. Oh, that's wobbly. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Oh, that was bad. Okay, I'm gonna paint some more and then I'll be back.
Okay, guys, I'm done. This took me eight or nine hours, <laughs> and I painted it all in one day, which I don't normally do. But I wanted to get it done, and I was on a roll. Normally, I paint for a couple hours at a time, maybe three hours at a time. Um, I think I'm gonna call this one Party Poppies. So I thought I would use the better camera on my phone to show you the final painting, and I'm gonna walk a little closer so you can get a better look. I really like the quinacridone and yellow, is it yellow orange azo? I don't think I say it quite the same each time. Here, maybe me wanna, oh, I'm getting a shadow. So it's really kind of a purpley color instead of a black in the flower. Yeah, I'm getting a shadow. It's nighttime here. It's pretty. Oh, here, there's kind of a, like a bud almost opening. I'm just giving you a look here. <laughs> almost need music. I've got. Oh, did I say already that I ended up with more colors than I planned on? But I think it's okay, especially if I call it party poppies. Okay, I'm gonna turn the phone around. And then I'll say goodbye to you guys. Oh, well here, I'll turn the phone around and then I'll, I'll say what I thought of. I'm looking at it and through my, I'm <laughs> having trouble talking today. I'm looking at the painting uh, with my phone or through my phone or uh, that still doesn't sound right. You know what I mean? Uh, and it's working. I like that. I'm getting at a distance. I'm getting, let's see if I can do this. It's kind of like the weather person. I'm getting kind of this shape going and I ended up, Oh, what I thought of is I'm, I ended up using black cause I just wasn't getting dark enough darks to make those reds come forward a little bit more and look a little bit str more strong, have a little bit more pop. Um, I don't know if you want to... Oh, and I painted the bottom with some blacks and some streaks. It's a little damp, which is why I have those paper towels. Oh yeah, that's working. I'm, I'm actually looking at it maybe more for me than you. <laughs> I think it's fun. It's definitely happy. Um, this kind of a painting is quicker because there isn't a traceable. I used a fairly big brush, a one inch flat to get a lot of the petals so it can go quicker. You know, with a pet portrait, I suppose for a 20 by 20 canvas, it might take me 18 hours ballpark. It depends on the pet and how complicated the fur is. Well, I hope you enjoy this one. I'll link other poppy videos. Um, one of them has a traceable in the description. I super appreciate everyone's support. It just means so much to me and favorite daughter, Emily, who helps me out. Great big happy art hugs, and I hope to chat with you soon. Bye, guys.